Number five on my list is a game called uh, Little Devil Inside, which is a Kickstarter game. This is uh, in no way a PS5 exclusive. That is, it will be available in PC, PS4, and Xbox One. It seems, as per the Kickstarter page, but uh, it is. The concept is really interesting and the game looks really good so I'll be hyped to play this one in my uh, PS5 uh, this game is basically a survival action RPG and what they say is different is there will be a hometown or a city to return to and rest and prepare for your next mission the town itself will have its own set of events and elements to interact with. So the concept of the game is uh, very interesting and the trailer also looked kind of funny and interesting. So I am very hyped to play the, this one uh, in my PS5 actually. I'll be buying the PS5 as soon as it is available in, in India. Uh, usually it comes after six months or so. So this is my uh, number five game from the event. And it has many cool monsters like this dragon. And, uh, so Little Devil Inside is my number five. My number 4 is a Tokyo based action game, uh, it is called Ghostfire Tokyo. Uh, Ghostfire Tokyo looks like an FPS first person, we cannot say it as a shooting game because it uses weird hand symbols to shoot magic. and. It looks like a ghost fighting game in the Tokyo city. Uh, I'm a big fan of Tokyo city. Uh, so anything in Tokyo city I'm hyped for to play. And the action looks fantastic. Like it has bows, magic, cool finishing moves. And what uh, PlayStation currently lacks is an FPS game and I think this will fill the void. I think this is a timed exclusive for PlayStation and I was hyped for this one during the last E3 itself when it was revealed. Uh, so this is one game I am looking forward to. and. Uh, this also has cold monsters so this is my number four in the list uh, goes via Tokyo so the third in my list is Insomniac Spider-Man and this is an obvious one everybody will be excited for a sp new spider-man game but uh, it is already this title is already surrounded by uh, controversy like people are thinking like this is going to be an expand expanded enhanced edition of the original spider-man that came in ps4 but anyway, more Spider-Man is always welcome, so I am excited to play this in PS5. And most of the loading uh, and the SSD hype was tested using Spider-Man only. So we can see some of that magic here with this Spider-Man also in PS5. So this is a launch title, so you'll be able to play on the first day itself. 
second on my list is a new IP which is I think was the second best looking game uh, in the show actually I don't know whether this is a small title or a large one uh, but the combat looked amazing the visuals looked amazing the animation is beautiful and it has small weird cute creatures monsters and bow and arrow so what more do you want uh, to be get excited with the game and I think this is going to be a uh, PS5 exclusive also uh, and this is what I am excited this is the second best looking game also after Horizon Forbidden West and the gameplay here looks beautiful and the combat also looks actually very beautiful so I am very excited to play this I think this is going to be an RPG open world RPG so it is going to be a fun play when it comes out it has many cool monsters to fight like the one we are seeing right now and magic also so I am always excited to play games with magic and cool monsters so Kenna the Kenna is the game at number two and the most obvious one is in the number one spot that is uh, Horizon Forbidden West the Horizon second chapter and uh, I enjoyed playing the first one actually hunting robot dinosaurs and collecting parts upgrading uh, upgrading your armor a typical RPG with a decent enough story and a big enough open world so this one is I think going underground also compared underwater environment and we'll see cooler monsters underneath the water so this is everybody's number one choice I think from the event and everybody was waiting for this one only only an uncharted or a god of war game could have replaced this one from the number one spot but that also I doubt actually and I'm very excited to play this in my PS4 PS5 actually uh, so this is my number one game from the event uh, some games I left out like Ratchet and Clank uh, which looked amazing but I was never a big fan of Ratchet and Clank in PS4 and Demon Souls Demon Souls and uh, the other game is uh, Resident Evil so I'm not a big fan of survival horror and the hard gameplay of Demon Souls or Dark Souls -y games so I just left out those from my list these are my top 5 games so I only added the games I like we could see some of the characters returning from the first game also here so this is going to be a fun game to play in PS5 and is called Horizon Forbidden West and they have put a 2 in the middle just in case if people don't know 
that was the first part so that was my top five games from the event uh, please let me know in the comments which was your top five game from the event